We're Hebrew Israelites. We come out here every weekend and prophesy the downfall of America. And tell you Negro Latinos, Native American Indians that we are the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks about. And they tell you uh, two thirds of these people on the sign you're gonna be destroyed. And there's no other way of telling you that. And you Edomites, according to the Bible, are you so-called white people, you Caucasians. You're gonna be destroyed as well. And you're gonna be put into captivity for a period of thousand years and eradicated from the face of the earth. All right, and tell you other heathens, you Edomites, anything that's outside of the nation of Israel, there's no salvation for you. Salvation for the nation of Israel, and that's in the Bible, in the Old Testament, in the New Testament. All right. So we're going to continue to push the truth, whether you like it or not. We're not out here for you. We're out here for the elect. All right. Whoever just drawn into our into our doctrine, that leave it like that. You know what I'm saying? If you got another doctrine, go preach it. Okay. And in time, the most sides going to test our works. Let's see who stands, who stands third. All right. But until then, we don't give a damn about you. This is Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 27. The eternal God is our refuge and under and underneath are the everlasting arms. And he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee. So, uh, he has uh, everlasting arms, man. If you go to the, uh, the book of Malachi, it says that the, ja the sons of Jacob are, 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 are not consumed. All right? For, the, for, for he don't change. So he has everlasting arms, and those arms are, 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 are of healing, man salvation all right so it's never going to change the nation of israel is the only people on the earth that are chosen to be partakers on the lord's table the rest of you are at the underneath the table eating the crumbs man. but yet those crumbs are going to be nourishing and they're going to give you strength and, and peace in the kingdom but until then the people are going to face a horrible uh, uh, a horrible judgment and underneath are the everlasting arms, and you shall thrust out the enemy from before thee, and shall say, destroy them. Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. The fountain of Jacob shall be upon a land of corn and wine. Also his heaven shall drop down too. All right, the nation of Israel, when they're set into the righteous state as kings and priests, they ain't gonna hurt no more, man. We ain't gonna suffer no more. We're gonna be on top. Be of a proud spirit. We're going to be of a humble, meek spirit, man. The inheritors of the earth that are going to nur nur nurture and nur nourish the earth, not abuse it and take from it and kill it and destroy it. Like all you other nations have done for years and thousands of years already. Now it's at its highest peak. Esau's killing everything off. The seasons are out of its course. The earth don't know how to function and maneuver in its proper proper manner. That's why it's fighting back. That's why the volcanoes are erupting. We got the most recent one in Chile that erupted. You know? The earth is getting frustrated. The earth is is, is being is weighed down and it's it's gonna fight back. And don't think it's not. That's why people a lot of you people are dying in catastrophic events, natural disasters, man. Many of you people are dying. It's like in Nepal, they had that uh, what was it, earthquake? Or was it earthquake? They killed thousands of people already. Thousands of you people are not being found dead. Didn't that the Lord already prophesied that that was gonna happen? In diverse places, earthquakes and pestilence shall be. That ain't no coincidence, man. This is real life thing. This is a real life. This is true life. Uh, uh, this is a real movie, man. Have been written, that was being played out. We got certain actors. We're all actors. Right? We got your, your ones that are just meant, vessels, certain vessels that are meant to be destroyed, and other vessels that are meant to be redeemed. They're going to be saved to be put in the sequel. And that's going to be the sequel, the, 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 uh, the reign in, in the kingdom of nation of Israel. and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore hath the curse devoured the earth, and 
they that dwell their air, are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. Right. And, and all that, all that's going on right now. And eventually, it's going to be that fire is going to be put up on this place called the earth. Right? And it's going to burn as an oven. All right. It's going to be very, very hot here, man. And not no man can uh, quench that.
and thy enemies shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. So, so there you go again, man. The elect, and it's talking about only the elect, that we're going to be able to tread upon your places. These places we couldn't, we couldn't ever get to before because of the condition we're in. The most high, uh, the most high is going to give the elect God-like power. We, we, we yell. We, 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 we put our spirit out there, man. We 
we've opened up everything. We crossed, we crossed America being destroyed, we crossed repentance, and after that being America destroyed, we came back to repentance. You know, so it's... You are. No, we don't take no money. You don't want to get some cold to drink? No, we're, nah. we're good. You're good, all right. But we, we, we constantly... We constantly came back to the subject of you people getting right. Uh, admonishing you people, like what's up over says, go out and compel them, go out and warn them, tell them, and, and uh, go out and reprove that people. But look, nobody still listens. And there's a spirit man that's going around where, where like, like, where like the brother was talking to me about before we went around. Now we can we can see it, man, that you're you're you you're being held at bay. A lot of people, everybody's tired. Everybody's tired of holding this with their arm. They just want to release it. But there's a spirit, a, a gold fix, but you're not allowed to be able to do it right now. And it's just a show right now that's going on. Everybody's what, like crooked smiling. It's it's really it's fortunate. Like, like, you know, you're, 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 and we're, but we know we're there, man. The we're time, in a time of hate, man. Right. That's the time we're in. We're in a time of hate. This ain't no time of love. Right. Even you so-called homeboys, so-called friends, you're backstabbing each other, wishing hard and death upon each other. Hey, guess what? So the righteous, man. The righteous are going to wish that upon you. No, you people too. They don't deserve life. Let me get this one. Uh, this is Isaiah 58 and 1. the trumpet and show my people the transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Yeah, you cannot, you cannot say that, talking about San Angelo, just real quick, about, your, about this city, you cannot say that me and this brother have not come out doing our job to, to do that, to fulfill that scripture. We came out constantly. We came out, we, like I said, we rose up early in the morning, rising uh, early daily, uh, rising daily every day. Because we, we got up, what, we got up, we got out of our beds, and we played our, our daily lives. And there may have been a person that came into contact, and we had to tell them, or, or, they, or they asked. You know, but this city is for itself, man. We already know it. It's, because you had two men out here telling you. You had two men speaking truth. So you've got a greater combination on you. But in all in all, man, all of America is going to be engulfed in flames. And all the, and all, like the Malachi, and all that do wickedly, shall be stumbled. We're just waiting, and that's the patience of the faith of the saints. To all the brothers out there that are getting heavy hearted, getting heavy, we're the times where we gotta, we gotta like the brother said, we gotta, we, gotta, we gotta be there for each other now, because we're gonna get weak. We're gonna get weak at, at, our, at our darkest hour, at the dark times, before everything starts really happening. So we gotta, we gotta constantly, like I said, admonish each other. And, and pray, pray, pray. This is Ezekiel 33 and 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people are still talking against thee by the walls and the doors of the houses. And speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. And they come unto, unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people. And they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they shall show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. What I'm about to say is that you want to continue. You don't, you don't come here, especially because, what, like the brother said earlier, you go in from this doctrine to that doctrine because you don't hear what you want to hear. That's the only reason you would come here. Is if you were, if we were to tell you you had one hour to listen to us and to be rich after that. It doesn't work like that. We're, 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 we're giving you riches. We're flooding, we're flooding the entire city of San Angelo with riches. You just don't, you just can't see them. You can't comprehend it because you're carnal. Yep. It's just like you people don't fucking understand. Oh, Jesus loves everybody. But that's not it. There's knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is bitter. All right? There's, it, it's happiness and it's bitter. It's not all love. Okay? It's not all glamour. It's not all uh, just the kingdom. You got to fight to get to the kingdom. You got to prove yourself that you're worthy of the kingdom, man. Finish this one, Ezekiel 33 and 32. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. So they hear thy words, but they do them not. Yeah, and, they, and you do them not. So that's sin unto you, man. That's sin unto you. Because you don't obey. What did the scripture say in, uh, in, in the book of Samuel? 